Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with an interesting video that I thought I would never ever do, and that is reading books hyped on TikTok. I did want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video. I'm super excited. Vaunt reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to show off a couple of their products, and I, of course, had to say yes because I don't accept every sponsorship I'm given, but if it's something that I'm excited about, then I will, and Vaunt is a reading light company, and these are really, really cool. So the first thing I love about them is they are charged by a USB port, so they're not battery, which I'm really excited about because I always end up running out of batteries and then I'm like, I don't have any more batteries in the house. You end up taking it like from the remote or something. And so these, you just plug them in and charge them with the USB port, which is super easy to do in your computer or with your like box. I never know what those are called. My students told me it's like a charging box. I don't know, but in the little, oh, hold on right here in here you can use this to charge it but this one's the smaller one they sent me it has like a clip and it has three different settings so you just press the button on top and it's got the uh like lightest and then brighter and then brightest and this one's like a warm kind of glow that i really really love and excuse me we're all readers here i would definitely use these at night i always end up falling asleep with my lamp on and i always feel so bad that i wake up at like midnight and my lamp's still on so i would feel less bad if i fell asleep with one of these on this one's the bigger one and it is so pretty and the cool thing about this so it's got this clip here so you'd more so like clip it to like a table um it's touch activated so right here it says vaughn has a square you touch this and it turns on <laughs> i think it's so cool and this one's more like cool toned and so you do once twice three times i think this would be really great too um i sew i have an etsy shop if you guys didn't know and i think this would be great to have in my sewing area and use this when it's nighttime because i have a lamp up in my sewing area but i don't have um, like a close to my machine lamp. It's just a lamp for the whole area So this would be perfect if I'm working at night because I have an Etsy shop and I need to see better and save my eyesight So this is exciting. I love it. And so make sure you guys check out Vaunt I do have a coupon for you too if you want 10% off of these both of these are gonna be linked down below and if you use p love 10 b then you will save 10 percent and i am just really excited for these because these are things that i'm literally gonna use like i've received stuff in like book boxes that i've gotten for free that just like sit around these are actually useful for me so i'm very excited for these thank you so much about for sending this to me and sponsoring this video i think you guys should definitely check them out i'm just like so in love with the fact that this is just like touch activated i think that's so cool but make sure you check out Vaunt down below i downloaded tiktok a little over a week ago it was my spring break um and i decided to join tiktok mostly because of the conversation about how publishers and booksellers are putting more of their attention towards book talk as opposed to youtube and instagram which have been around hello forever i've been on booktube since 2015 so it is frustrating when we see these book talkers getting publishing sponsorships and attention from everybody and it's like excuse me what about us and so i also have heard about the toxicity of book talk and uh how they hype the same old books and how i have seen already they like to hype old books books that have been around since 2015 that youtube was talking about five years ago especially in the romance community so i am going to be focusing on the romance community and my analysis of book talk in this video because i'm a romance reader and i joined romance book talk the first thing i noticed so my friend Teresa from reads romance on instagram she joined and she was like why is everybody obsessed with spicy romance and everybody on book talk likes to act like it's a big deal that their romances are spicier and I, I think it's just because it's more entertaining these kind of videos and they get a lot of views it's just like normal on booktube and on instagram we're like yeah our books are spicy that's romance that we read while on book talk it's like oh my gosh look what i'm reading so it just feels like more like forbidden to be reading these kind of books on book talk when on instagram especially we just talk about it and like it and that's what romance is so it's very interesting how obsessed with 18 plus spicy reads on book talk which is interesting i've come across videos on book talk that have the age range which is a new thing i've never seen that anywhere so but also it's very annoying because book talk is very white when it comes to the books that i recommended especially in the romance community so i know all three of these are by white authors i have not seen any authors of color hyped on book talk which is annoying so i've been trying to hype up 
authors of color on my own book talk and those don't get any views i posted romances by asian authors and that's gotten 500 views which also book talk is very much clickbaity like the entire concept of of tiktok is clickbait so my first video i posted on tiktok was age gap romances and then i did uh short and spicy romance recs where i try to include a lot of authors of colors the age gap got over 3,000 views and my authors of color spicy tiktok got a thousand and so anytime i talked about jennifer armchow getting views and then desiree sent me a viral sound and i posted a like eight second video and that one has almost gotten a hundred thousand views and it's gotten me 2,000 followers in the past day so that it's annoying because like videos that don't take any time or effort whatsoever on tiktok make you go viral they make you get a tons of views and tons of followers this one is literally me just like showing my bookshelves for eight seconds and it's gotten me 2,000 followers and then i posted a book mail from christina c jones and that's gotten 500 views and so it is like annoying what does well and what doesn't on tiktok because i'm trying my best to include diverse books and tiktok doesn't care that's just my journey on a tiktok so far i'm um in interested to see what happens so um on Thursday I started the day with 600 something followers and I posted that uh, library video of literally eight seconds of my library Thursday night and I now have 2,300 followers so that video has 98.6 thousand views and it's only climbing so it's gonna go to 98.7 now that I look at it so TikTok makes me angry in that sense where like the videos that are clickbaity that take the least amount of effort gain you followers and there are people whose videos i've seen one girl's got a million and it was literally like an eight second video saying something about book boyfriends and it has a million views and i'm just like what so tiktok's weird let's just say i have a love hate relationship with tiktok now but i have three uh i do have accounts that i really like though so i've been i choose like i'm very picky about who i follow because i don't want to be like really annoyed every time i get on this app and so there are a few people that i really genuinely like following and i'll link them down below but the first one that i want to read um because i saw it is a fey romance and it is fighting destiny by amelia hutchins there were actually two i could have chosen for this one either this one or flames of chaos by the same author and i decided to go with fighting destiny because it looks really good and i've actually started it i'm 10 percent in and I'm actually really enjoying this one. And so I, I I picked books I thought I would like. I don't like to hate read because then I just get angry and slumpy and I just hate reading. And I don't like hating reading. So I picked books I thought I would like for this video. And Fighting Destiny seemed like a really good book. And I really like it so far. I'm 10% in our heroine. It belongs to this guild. And she, I don't know if she's a witch, but she has abilities to like use these things with powers i guess and like some of her tattoos have magic woven in and so she is given a job to steal this fey prince's crown and so she's literally like infiltrating his place it seemed kind of like an office building kind of thing when she went into it like there's security but it's kind of like his castle i don't know but she had to go through this like security obstacle course thing to try to get to his crown which is really cool already things are getting a little spicy which i actually really like in this book so i didn't expect that to happen so early on but i like it like there's already a lot of tension and angst between them and like chemistry that she's really mad about because she doesn't want to be attracted to this guy because i guess he's like a bad guy but it's really good so far so i'm really enjoying this i'm also gonna read flock by kate stewart i actually have this on my amazon cart and then sarah from <laughs> my friend sarah told me to just read it on ku first before i buy it i have a hundred dollars worth of books in my amazon cart right now because tiktok does make you want to buy books i really want to buy these books i have some tl swan in there and which i didn't choose for this video but i could have because tl swan's like adored on tiktok but i oh also um danielle laurie i think is that her name the sweet obsession i think i bought it for free on kindle and i'm like but I kind of want the paperback and I already have the Kindle book for free. So I need to stop wanting to buy books. So those have been in my cart for like a week now on Amazon. So I don't need to buy them, but they're there. But I'm going to read Flock by Kate Stewart and I'm going to read it first on KU because I have KU and if I like it, I'll buy the rest of the series. I don't know anything about it. I just know it's crazy. So everybody's been like freaking out about it. And I guess it released like six or seven months ago and Kate Stewart posted that it wasn't like the top 40 on Amazon. Candy Signer also did a really cool TikTok of the wrong 
player or the wrong game and I think it was the wrong game and um, it went viral got 3 million views and her book was like number seven in, in the Amazon store so TikTok does sell books it does you won't see a youtuber's video go viral and he reached 3 million in a day so uh, TikTok moves moves videos if they're clickbaity enough authors joining it i do think especially indie authors it's a great way for them to move their books and get them noticed but um but i'm gonna read flock and then i'm also this one i'm a little nervous about because you guys know i haven't been reading a lot of new adult and it kind of bothers me now as being in my older 20s like in my younger 20s i ate that up i was obsessed with new adult romances but now that i'm like further from that age i care less um which I guess is just what happens when you age. And so I am going to read Pretty Little Savage, which is a college bully romance. But I've seen it everywhere. And the cover is really pretty. So I'm going to try this one too. I That's all I know about it. So we'll see how these three go. So I'm going to read some. And I'll update you on how TikTok's going and how if I can get another TikTok to go kind of viral. Is 100k viral? I feel like that's... I've never had a video do that well in a day. So we'll see but do these people follow me for my book recommendations or just because i have a pretty library i don't know and that reminds me i should do a library tour soon because i have two full bookshelves over here a half a bookshelf here and then four bookshelves behind me and a cart here and a cart here so i have a lot of books in here um and i haven't really shown you my full library so once i clean things up i do have to film a book haul today i might film a library tour later but we'll see how this tiktok journey takes me hi guys so sorry if i look a little bit messy i rearranged my room and let me tell you rearranging a queen size bed by yourself is a little hard so i did that today but i look a little mess i do have an update on the book so far i'm only 30 percent more into the 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 fey one and it's definitely taken a different turn i don't want to spoil anything because i didn't know going in things but now she has to work with the fey prince to figure out like who's killing fey and witches which i think is super interesting because I love a good like murder mystery and it reminds me of like TV shows I love to watch so I'm enjoying it but I'm only 30% in and she has a very traumatic past she watched both of her parents get killed by Faye very traumatically and so she hates Faye and now she has to work with one so it's good so far I am gonna try to finish this today so I will let you know how it goes hey guys so it is currently tuesday and i just got home from work and i said hi to my babies like i always do i spend like 10 minutes after i get home just like laying with my dogs but it i have a lot to update you on i finished fighting destiny and i think i'm gonna give it three stars so this one feels like a book that is someone's first book first of all there's like seven books in this series and i had no idea that there were seven books in the series and I don't know how much I loved it so it was really good in the beginning like she was like trying to do this heist where she stole this crown and then she's recruited to figure out like who the serial killer is and I feel like there was a lot and I, I looked at reviews too on Goodreads because I like to when I don't like know specifically why I'm not like getting along with the book I don't know why and I go to Goodreads to see if anybody had the feelings I did and so a few people said things felt disconnected and like there were plot holes and like too much was trying to happen and I feel like the author was trying to do way too much and not wrapping everything up before moving on to the next thing or even wrapping it up ever so I feel like like the character would have to go do something and then it would like be ending really quickly and she'd be jumping into the next thing and the next thing and I'm like I don't understand what's happening half the time she liked the guy half the time she didn't like him and there were a lot of names in here that were way too similar so like there was Ryder and Riken, I think, and Alden and Aiden, and I'm just like, these names are too similar. Way too similar. And like, they would introduce another conflict, like with a third possible love interest, and then that person kind of just like disappeared, and I'm just like, I don't understand what's happening. And I do think it went on way too long. This was over 400 pages, and it ends on a cliffhanger, and there's seven books in the series. And so I just think too much was trying to get done in this book, and it read like someone's first book, like they didn't really know how to develop things that well. The romance was okay. Like it was supposed to be super angsty, and like they were, oh, Darcy's eating her foot. Hey, what's up? I don't know if I really loved it, and like, it was like building and building until we could finally have like a steamy scene and it was a very very long drawn out scene and i'm like okay i'm getting a little bit tired of this now so i do think that went on for too long and i don't know how much i loved it though because like the fae in this world they feed and when they feed it's through intimacy and they can force people to like 
desire them and like want it even though it's literally rape and so he kept on threatening her like i can make you want it and i'm like you're literally threatening to rape her and so like that's one of her biggest fears because it, something with that happened to her parents and i i don't think that's attractive i'm like i don't think that's great that you're threatening to force her to want you physically and taking her physically that's not attractive and he threatened that so much in this book and now it was like the oh she actually does want him but doesn't want him to admit it kind of thing but like the fact that he kept on threatening it wasn't attractive and so i don't know it was just fine i just feel like there were a lot of things trying to like being thrown in there that weren't developed enough Did I just get a package? Hopefully he wasn't listening because the Amazon man just delivered a package, which it's actually a copy of Flock by Kate Stewart. So I'm excited for that. But I started Pretty Little Savage and I'm 10% in and I'm actually liking it. So the writing, first of all, is like way better than Fighting Destiny was. Just like the, I feel like I'm at reading an author's established book, not like a first book. And so I do like the development so far of the characters. And it starts out with our heroine when she's 14 and our hero when he's 16 and they don't know each other. And then she, I don't love heroines like her because she's all like, oh, I hate the world and I don't won't take crap from anybody and she'll like beat people up if they like spread rumors about her and stuff and I'm just like okay and like she's gotten kicked out of five schools so she's like a bad girl and I usually don't like reading about bad girls because I'm just like why are you so aggressive towards people like calm down um, because I'm not an aggressive person so I don't understand when people need to act aggressively towards others so she ends up getting into a fight and is it has to go to a college she like is dual enrollment so she's really like a high schooler getting credit at this college and they like recruited her and so she's going there and i'm pretty sure the guy's gonna be there because he's two years older than her and she's now 18 and so that means he's 20. so i thought this was like a fully college story but i guess she's like hasn't graduated high school yet so she's still in high school but taking college classes and living on a college campus so I don't know how it's gonna be. I don't like girls with her attitude in the books that I read. I guess we'll see because she's had a bad life. Her mom does a lot of bad things for drugs and hasn't really paid attention to her. And the guy is like into bad things too. So we'll see. But I know a lot of people always ask me on my channel for like bad girl recommendations and I don't like those so I don't read them. Harley Rose from the uh, Fall of Men series, I really liked her but like she wasn't over the top. And I feel like sometimes they're just like so over the top in the books and this one kind of has the potential of being that so i'm hoping it's not so we'll see um because i really liked her because she could really like hold her own but it wasn't like seeking it out if that makes sense so we'll see i'm gonna read some more but i just got a new bookcase so i'm gonna go build that i rearranged the furniture in my room and i have room for a bookshelf now so i'm gonna go put my new bookcase up rearrange some books and read some more pretty little savage I did want to show you guys my new Hello Lovely stuff. So I got It's a Good Day for More True Crime, which I am obsessed with. It's a Good Day for More Romance. I love this one. The white one was super cute, but I can't wear white. So I'll get it way dirty. And then sweatpants that say Moody Readers Club, because I do have a sweatshirt that matches this. And I'm wearing my Hello Lovely sweatpants that says uh, these are my romance reading sweatpants. So I'm about to go build my bookshelf, though. So we'll talk to you guys later. Hello everybody, it's been quite the busy day. So um, we have testing this week, so I have to get to school early just to make sure I have everything set up for the kids. They're, they have two hours to take their test, but we have a three hour delay start to the day. And then we have school, three hour delay period, so 23 minutes. And then I had to book it home because Darcy had a vet appointment. She has a loose tooth that's like, not discolored so we just want to get it checked out and she does have to get it removed but that won't be until the end of may when they can do that so i guess it's not that big of a problem and then i mowed the lawn and i worked out so it's been a long day but i first of all am like getting annoyed with tiktok because ever since i did my one tiktok that got over a hundred thousand views none of my tiktoks have been doing well and i'm just like i don't get it so i mean like i like i said people really like the like skit kind of tiktoks and i don't do those so i just do basically like recommendation tiktoks and my one this morning got 200 views <laughs> I now have 3,000 followers, so I don't know, I don't know. I just like am annoyed because since that one TikTok, the most one of mine have gotten is 1,000 and that's it. Before that, they were all getting at least 1,000. So some of them got 5,000, 2,000. 
I don't get TikTok. I know a lot of people just want the viral TikToks and it's hard to do that. And now I could do some more like fun skit things, but I don't feel like doing that. So that's just my journey on TikTok so far, but I did read more of Pretty Little Savage. I'm halfway through. And I think I would really love this if the main character was different. I really don't like Ava Avalon. We always have to have these like unique, not like other girl names. And she's just like not like other girls. She like beats people up when they call her names. She tried to blow up a girl's car for calling her a bad name. And I'm just like, can we calm down please? I'm getting such not like other girls vibes from her and I hate that trope in books, but it's it's just fine. She just like really, she's beaten like four different people up already. And like we get a little bit of her past and she's hiding something and that's why she's so violent with people and like I get it. But then again, I'm just like, you're being really annoying. I did like how she like tried to make him jealous and he like did really get jealous and how he's got this special relationship with the two guys that are like the Savage Boys or something. I forget what they're called. I think it's the Savage Boys. I don't remember. But they are all super close because they've been through a lot of stuff together. They do stuff with their dads, like bad stuff, like kind of mafia-ish stuff. And they are really close together and he like kind of snipped at his one friend and his one friend got mad and he had to like go apologize to him. So I really love that kind of friendship. It's kind of reminding me of the four boys in Corrupt and how close they were together and so I don't know if like the other guys are going to get a book because like Abel I would really love his book but I don't know especially if it's going to be a different heroine than Ava because she is really obnoxious I really can't stand her and she's just like super pushy and judgy of everybody and I just don't like her at all and like all they do is go to parties I'm like I hate it when I read new adult romances and they don't mention school. I don't know about you, but I cared about my grades in college and I was proud of the fact that I was like getting good grades and I worked my butt off to get good grades. So the fact that they don't even mention, she hasn't even mentioned having to go to class. Not once, unless the one class she went to was about like taking their seat and like they got mad at her. And that was it. But like she has not mentioned school whatsoever and she's supposed to be taking like college classes as a high schooler. So realistically, I'm like, where is the school? But that always happens when I'm reading no adult books. So it's fine, whatever. The romance, like I'm liking, it's just like, I would like this so much more if I didn't like, if she wasn't there. But I do like the writing. It's a, good, a lot better writing than Fighting Destiny was, which I'm very much appreciating. So I wanna power through this and then read Flock by Kate Stewart, which I left for the end because I'm most excited for that one. And I have nothing, I have no idea what it's about, but. Yeah, I'm just gonna cuddle here with Miss Darcy. She's super ugly, her face is over there. And maybe watch some YouTube and read some more of my book. Got little Miss Darcy stars, she's got a loose tooth. And then Miss Lily, hi Lily. And our new rug, which is super pretty. I'm really excited about it. So it's rolled up, so we gotta unroll it and leave it out, but yay. Okay, the lighting's gonna be weird because my lamp is on and then I have a natural light, so it's like, warm glow cool light and it gets confused but hello it is currently thursday and i finished pretty little savage and i think i'm gonna give it three stars i wasn't the biggest fan of ava and i feel like a common theme i see in new adult romances is especially when they're in college slash high school is that they always go to these parties that they don't want to go to but then they're like dragged to them and they act like they had no other choice but to go and it's because of the guy or like the guys force them to go or something like that and so in this one okay i need to get a little more comfy sorry darcy in this one she like went to this like party i don't know if it was for spring break um with them to their house and she obviously like i don't know it's more like she says she doesn't want to go but then like she ends up going because she can't have an excuse why she can't go but you know she wants to go because she likes the guys and she likes the attention and i feel like that's what happened with this one huge trigger warnings for sexual assault because something happens in here that's on page and very graphic and very disturbing i just wanted more of not like what happened to her but what the guys do because we get a little bit at the very very beginning in the prologue when he's 16 when dean is and he deals with like mafia stuff for his dad we don't get any of that in this book and i'm like please show this to us because they talked about how like braxton is like the violent one and the, i forget what the other two are into but he like takes care of things like that torturing a man at the end and i'm just like can we have this like dark content that makes it feel like a little bit older and not just like college kids that really seem like they should be in high school just like going to party after party after party together because i could care less i never really partied in college not my scene and i just like don't care reading about these characters just sitting around going to parties together and like dancing with guys to make them jealous and it's just 
I don't care. And that's what mostly this book was. But at the end, we got a little bit of like action and dark romance, and I liked that. But we still don't know Ava's secret, which actually makes me annoyed because there was a cliffhanger in this one and they're talking about her secret and they don't say what it is. And I'm just like, you could have at least told us what it is and then we could read book two if we want to. I don't want to read book two, but I want to know her secret. So I'm really annoyed with that. The romance is very slow burn. It takes forever for something to happen with them, which actually surprised me because normally with these, they're like hot and heavy from the start. So that was surprising. I still really didn't like Ava's character and how she's like, I'm not like other girls. I understood it. We got her background. We got her past about why she is the way she is. I get it. But she just gave, I think at one point they even talked about her like not being like other girls. And I was like, okay, I don't like that trope. So I'm giving it three stars though because the ending I was wanting more from and they just went from party to party to party and I it got old real fast and of course we have an illegal underground fighting scene which I feel like is like the staple of this genre that every single book has to have it did change it though because Ava's the one who fought which I actually appreciated because it's always the guy fighting and there's always that moment where he like looks up and sees her and like almost loses the fight I feel like I've read like 10 different books with that scene in it that are new adults so this one I'm giving three out of five stars I liked the writing though, like the writing I got lost in and it wasn't as bad as the first book that I read where I feel like the writer really didn't know what she was doing. They're trying to do it too much too fast and I didn't like that. This one I liked the writing so I probably would read more by this author, just not with this main character because she was annoying. But I'm starting flock and I posted it. I Yes, I bought a physical copy even though I can read it on my Kindle. I've been reading so many books on my Kindle I miss physically reading books so I went ahead and bought this and I feel like I'm gonna love this one and the prologue was very vague. She likes talks about going back somewhere and then we get back to the past where she is uh, the summer after college and she is moving in with her dad. So we'll see how it goes. A couple people on Instagram are excited I'm reading it so I hope I enjoy it. Miss Lily is just staring at me. She just wants attention. Oh, and Darcy now needs uh, surgery. <laughs> it's not that bad. So she needs to get her teeth cleaned anyways. And they're like, we'll just go ahead and get her teeth cleaned and take out that tooth that's bothering her. I think I told you she has a loose tooth. And take out a couple lumps that she has. They're not really big, but she's had them for years. And they said when she's under, they might as well do that too. So little Missy's going to have some surgery on my last day of school, which is fine. I just don't like thinking about her getting surgery while I'm on oh, my last day of school. I would much prefer it to be any other day that I could be there for because I literally cannot take off the last day of school, but it's fine. She'll be fine. My sister will take good care of her. It's fine. She's just my baby and she's just so cute. And I love her, but okay, I'm going to go read some and get back to you on how it's going. Hey everyone. It is currently Friday and I am here to update you a little bit about my reading and show you a new shirt I got, which I'm very excited for, but I am a hundred pages into flock. It's my goal to finish it tonight because I want to post this video tomorrow and we'll see if that happens, but I'm having a hard time connecting with it right now because I have a feeling Sean, Sean, I think that's his name, isn't who she ends up with. And so I like don't Care about him I don't care about this romance and their relationship it felt kind of weird because like he was waiting for her to make the move and she did because she's like why isn't he making a move and it's just weird because she just like gets the job and meets the guy and now she's with him and I'm just like what's the point of this and we know things don't work out that well and I have a feeling and Dominic's weird and I have a feeling like the her romance isn't supposed to be with Sean and so I'm just like we're 100 pages in that's all this book is focusing on I don't care so I feel bad but I'm just like okay like how long is this gonna go on for I'm just like waiting for something to happen because based on the prologue I'm like something's gonna happen and like what everybody tells me I'm gonna love the rest of the series and so I just feel like this is just like stagnant right now and we're just waiting and waiting for something and I'm just waiting for something to happen so I hope it ends up being better than what it is right now because I could care less about anything happening in this book right now so that's how flock is going but i want to show you my shirt my friend Brittany on instagram she ordered this shirt because we're both obsessed with the mummy and i've had it in my cart for like two weeks now and she decided to give it to me because she said it was too small for her and it is pretty small it's a large but it's woman size so it will fit me and i'm excited for it and she sent it to me so i'll show you is it not perfection the mummy more like the daddy <laughs> um i love it so much rick o'connell it's just amazing. I'm excited. And so I'm going to probably wear it this weekend. I need to go read some and I'm going to have some dinner and have to sew some. So those are my plans. 
Hey everyone, so it is Saturday morning. Hopefully you're seeing this today. I have like 120 pages left of this book and things went exactly where I wanted them to go and I'm so happy this book finally did that. I've read too many books that have like hinted at it and then not had it and talk about it and don't have it. This one did and I loved it. But I do think that the guys are getting close to her for a specific reason and I don't know what's gonna happen. I think like they chose her is all I'm going to say. I don't want to spoil anything, but I do think that they wanted to get close to her for a specific reason and they've been dropping hints about like why. So I'm going to continue reading, hopefully finish this soon and then update you with how I feel about this book and if I want to read book two immediately. Because like I said, the beginning was slow. It was just like her falling for Sean and I'm like, I don't care. And it just like felt like too easy and quick and like happy. And now things are getting interesting. So I like Dom. Dominic, I like him a lot. So we'll see where things go. I finished this. So I read like 200 pages this morning. So I was like, I want to finish this. This video is going up today. I'm wearing my new Hello Lovely. And what a wild ride. I, I don't know if I want to give it five stars. More like four and a half, but I think I'll round it up to five. I really loved the turn in this. And I knew we were waiting for something to happen. Like I said, 100 pages in, it was like, what is the point of this? We're just like watching her like this guy and them dating and I'm like, I don't care. But mm, this took a turn that I was pleasantly surprised by. Like I said, it's something that a lot of other books um, uh, from Blood and Ash hint at and um, A Court of Silver Flames that they never actually do. We get it in this one and I was so happy. I like that in my romances. I like it when we get something new and that I wasn't expecting, but I kind of was, but kind of not because I didn't know it would go in that direction. And I haven't heard about that. Anybody talking about this book, I've never heard them say that this is in this book. So I was very pleasantly surprised. Everybody on TikTok is like, oh, it's so steamy. And I'm like, yeah, it is. And I liked it. So I really like this book. Pleasantly surprised, uh, but I knew like everybody raves about this. It has such high rating on Goodreads. People I trust the reviews say it has high ratings, said it was amazing. So it was great. I don't know if I showed you guys the chapters too. The chapter headings have a really cool raven, which is awesome. It has to do with them. So I really love that. I'm glad I got the paperback because now I want to get books two and three and read them. But I really like them. And I wasn't as annoyed with our main character as I thought I would be because she just like naively goes along with things. But I really like the growth she went through and how she didn't want to want what she wanted, but she liked it. So I really enjoyed this. It did have a cliffhanger. I'm a little confused about about the person at the end. I don't know who that was. Am I supposed to have known who that was? I don't know. I think I missed something. But when I said I thought they were with her for a reason, like she was chosen, I don't want to spoil anything, but anyways, I really enjoyed this. I'm glad I picked it up. This one though I've only seen like recently hyped on TikTok by a couple people. One person I always follow, let me find her. She, I love her TikToks and um, I don't think she's like giant in the grand scheme of TikTok. I follow a lot of TikTokers who have like 20 or 30,000 not like the giant book talkers. I'm only following 85 people on book talk but I followed her a while ago and I never remember her name. They keep on trying to recommend me like the same book talkers that I don't follow and I'm just like stop showing me their videos which is obnoxious. So they obviously want me to follow them. But oh, A Court of Kayla is hilarious but it is Tiff in Books. I really like Tiffany's TikTok. Um, I would recommend checking it out. She's the one that I read this one actually from and the Amelie Hutchins one. Hutchinson? I don't remember her name. The Fighting Destiny I read because of Tiffany. And while I didn't love Fighting Destiny, I really love this one. And that's what Tiffany has been like talking about nonstop. And she also posts like from Blood Nash and for Armor Trout stuff. So I really love her TikToks. She's a lot of fun to follow. She has 32,000. A Court of Kayla is hilarious. Oh, she has 174,000. She does like little funny skits, but they're like original. And I really like them. She just like comes like barging into a room and starts like talking to the camera. And it's really funny. So I really like her TikToks as well. And yeah, I'll link them down below. Let me know who you love to follow on TikTok. And I'm happy that I found a five-star read. And I did end up buying <laughs> TL Swan. Book two ended up damaged, so I just returned it to Kohl's. And hopefully they're sending a non-damaged one my way. The entire front cover was creased. 
So, oh, there's like a line on his face. That's fine. I'm excited. So this is book one and people have been raving about TL Swan. They've also been raving about Tate James, who I want to try out as well. So if you want another round of this video, let me know. And I've just been having an interesting time on TikTok. I currently now have 3,225 followers. A little over a week ago, I only had 600. So it's just very interesting how TikTok moves and what TikTok likes. Because like I said, TikTok loves quick, clickbaity fun videos that are staged that don't really have bookish content in them. So I like following the people who actually talk about books and like hype books, which is hard to kind of find on TikTok, that are books that aren't what everyone else is already talking about. So it's just interesting, but follow my TikTok down below. I just posted my favorite love triangles and I'm about to go on and rave about this book there as well. So that's all I have. So as I said, let me know if you want me to do this again. If you've read any of these, let me know your thoughts and make sure you check out Vaunt down below. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. I have been loving using my reading lights, so they are both linked down below with the coupon code as well if you want to check them out. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.